Hello, it's me, Red Knight, and welcome back to Hado. We're heading on over to the Sanctuary, and we are going to build a Sanctuary Play Park for my animals, and it's going to be totally wild. Right, let's head on over to the town. Now, here is my town. I'm a level 12 in the town at the moment, so a little bit more to go before I get to level 13. Level 56 in the game, and I've got a lot of buildings down there. Now, it's not heavily decorated, not a problem. I don't mind, that's just my playing style at the moment. I can upgrade the buildings if I got the resources, but I don't have the resources, so there's no chance of doing that either. Now, if I do level up very, very soon, which is just around the corner, actually, kind of like the next Heyday update, coming soon, soon, soon. What it's going to be, I don't know. But I do know when I level up, I get some nice new olives, I get some candy, I get diamonds, yeah, and I get some new land. Yippee! I like new land. I actually really do. Diamonds are nice as well, but Maggie keeps spending those. Right, now I've got loads of visitors. Now, I'm sending all of my visitors to my buildings. Usually, I only do those for two buildings or one building. I'd rather not do three buildings. I know it gives a lot of coins. I know it gives a lot of XP. But because I'm getting very close to leveling up, I'm going to be focusing on doing all of my visitors. But that means I've got to start producing the goods. Now, that can be a bit of a problem when you've been doing a lot of Derby activities. There's the boat, there's the regular truck orders, and there's all of the other events. So your town is kind of pushed to the side sometimes. Hence the fact that I'm level 56, and it's not really that beautiful just yet. Now, I maxed out on 21 visitors there, so I've got 21 visitors in all of my buildings, plus those walking around. I can actually go and visit my hoodies if I wanted to, but only to get a floating chest. I couldn't actually pick up any passengers. Oh dear, that's a shame, but not as if I can get many anyway. Now, with my town, there's a lot of upgrading still need to be done. There's all of the buildings, for example. Uh, I can upgrade those. I can also upgrade my actual beach area as well. Now, my big farm does have a lot of expansion materials. However, I'm not really transferring them to myself. Uh, it's not really a necessity for me at the moment to actually upgrade my beach area, at least not at this stage in the game. But I do want to do my sanctuary. I want to use some of the new decoration that we've got within the game, i.e. the play toys to make a playground. And I mentioned within my video yesterday, especially my live stream, that I saw a animal play area when I visited Helsinki. I love them. I think they're a great idea. We have some in Japan. My friend Lin said that they've got some in America. And if you do actually have an animal play area within your game or within your neighborhood, send me some pictures, everybody. I would love to see them. In fact, if you send me some photos of animal play areas in your country, uh, whether they're using your pets or not, not a problem. Send them to me and I will put them into a video. Now, if they are your photos, I need your permission to do that because I don't want to have any issues on my channel. So please make sure they're your photos and not off the internet from anybody else. So just your photos of pet areas. Now, I love playgrounds. As a kid, I grew up playing on playgrounds, uh, scraped my knees many times, bruised my elbows, and even blooded my nose. But playgrounds are wonderful. And like I said, I want to create one today. Now, I do need to serve my visitors. My visitors are going to give me a lot of coins. Now, I don't really have a lot of coins at the moment. I've got 230,000. I had a lot more, but they get spent within the game. Had a lot of diamonds get spent within the game. And again, I had a lot of vouchers that get spent within the game. So I can do a lot of specific activities to give me the coinage, the diamonds and the vouchers to be able to decorate because you are going to need the lot sometimes. So you need to carefully think about what you're doing within the game sometimes. Do you want to focus on the production machines and expand those using your diamonds? Do you want to use your vouchers in the fishing area or do you want to use just the worm lures? Now for me within my fishing area I'm more inclined to use the actual traps than I am to use the lures. The lures I like to save up and then use those lures with fishing events or derby tasks especially at my level and my ability. So any nets I get Yep, that's my preference. Now, my net making machine, my lure machine, uh, I don't really have them upgraded to the max yet. It's just cost too many diamonds at this stage within my life within the game. Not going to happen. 
Okay, I've still got a lot of work to do before the mastery starts. Now, if I can get that third star, that's a lot faster as well. Uh, it's not much of a difference, but it's still plenty to allow me to produce a lot more. Now, those affiliates I've got will actually allow me to do a visitor within my town, thus giving me more XP and more coins. XP allows me to level up within the game, as you know, both reputation within the town and within the farm. This also opens up a lot of new decorations as well, which is great. The coinage is really, really good, gives me a lot of money, I can then use that to spend within the game as well. Perfect. So your regular playing style activities is something that you must be doing. Now remember, you don't have to do it by yourself. You can request help. Okay, I can't do those juices, so I've asked my hoodies to help me. There's some other orders I can't do as well, because I just don't have the machine, as you'll see in a moment. So I need to actually request again certain goodies. And once I do request, my hoodies will say, okay, I've got this, let's give it to him, or oh no, 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 you're going to have to buy the machine. Okay, now I got 230,000. I could buy, as an example, a candy making machine. But the orders I get are very, very few and limited. So requesting or sending away is an option. Actually, I'm really tempted sometimes to send some of my town visitors away. Just collect the coins and XP that I can, the visitors I can't do, just yep, send them on their way. Because they come back a few hours later. Especially considering that when I do play my baby farm, it's not as active as my big farm. My big farm has all of my focus. Level 119 now. Yeah, I like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And if you do level up, make sure you head on over to Heyday JP on Twitter and post your level up imagery there because they're doing a special competition giveaway where you have the chance to win 570 odd diamonds, I think it is. So I did my live stream on it the other day. So check out that live stream as well because that's a lot of diamonds. And if I can win that many diamonds, I could use them on my baby farm, which would be fantastic. If they will let me transfer the diamonds to that one instead of my big farm or I might just have to level up on my baby farm within the time frame just to see if I can qualify for those diamonds instead so perfect 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 right collecting all of my resources more XP more coinage good 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 I like that I like that I like that that's going to make it so much easier doing my visitors the wheel has been spun I got some nice prizes Maggie is coming in one day 22 hours my styles book is not really progressing much farther than it was uh, I do want that guest house in the middle but I'm gonna need a lot more diamonds than I've got uh, in fact I'm gonna need a lot of diamonds because I've used all of mine and I've not gained any back I've got the help as they're waiting they're free of charge and there's a nice booster boats as well there were diamonds there which said that we actually got them but did I get them or not I don't remember so have my diamonds been delivered heyday or are they not coming to me I wonder I need to check because I could have sworn twice now I've not had them or maybe I did but I have spent them without realizing Right, now some orders I can do, some I can't, but uh, I'm just loading up my machines now, getting ready to do more within my town. Some of these I can't do, as you can see, the caramel apples, I just do not have the machine down there. Like I said, I, I haven't bought it yet. I've got 230,000 gold coins, how much do I need for that new machine? Let's go and have a look. So, oh, no, no, not the trees, that's the one. Right, down, 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 we go down, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, it's all the way down there, and we're almost there, and there we go, 120,000 for a candy machine. Now, I'm the kind of person with my baby farm who doesn't buy something if I don't need it. I don't buy all of the machines straight away, I never have done. I don't buy all of the animal pens straight away either. I don't see the benefit in getting everything as soon as it comes out. I'd rather wait until a little bit later when my game progresses or the need becomes a lot more than it is. So two candy apples is quite a lot. I can't produce them. I could bin those orders or I could ask my hoodies because it's under the five quantity that I can get, which is very nice indeed. But loading up the machines for the rest of them. So we need pizza. We can do the pizza now, I think. So let's go do that one as well. Actually, all of those items have now been made, by the way, and I've sent them to my visitors within the town. My visitor said, thank you very much. It was 
really nice of you to do that and I've now actually served those visitors and gained a lot of coins and XP so closer and closer and closer to level 57 and to town hall 13 yeah it sounds more like Clash of Clans now doesn't it so Red Knight has a town hall 12 everybody yeah and soon to be town hall 13 yeah so bring on the Clash of Clans wars the heyday farmer is ready in the house with his sheep pigs goats and all of his other animals and don't forget chick Norris is there as well right harvesting 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 requesting help where I can so if I do actually have any trees or bushes please do come and revive them I at the moment okay my friends book has been reset everybody so every beginning of the month I reset my friends book I delete everybody that was on there from both my big farm and my baby farm you have the option then to refriend me or for those of you who have been waiting to add me as a friend within the game for the month now with Facebook okay I do have the ability to connect Facebook to both of my farms which I've done so especially with the player ID so if you want to be more permanent Facebook is the best way to go but remember Facebook's limitation is 5,000 friends I'm getting really really close to that and I have been having problems but I will be deleting a lot of the friends off soon that are not playing anymore uh, removing some dead accounts as well plus heyday has got a fix for my game as well which I'm really pleased about so no more slow loading because of the friends bar and that Facebook issue right filling those crates gaining more coins and XP and we are almost ready to go on over to the town those I can't do till much much later so that one's gonna be a bit of a problem because I don't have the actual item ready I've got to grow 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 so we just have to do that another time right I'm ready I don't think I can do any more all the machines are now loaded up all of the goodies are ready let's go back to the town and let's serve those visitors that we can do and then I can start actually decorating actually first what I want to do is to show you my baby animal so the other day my new animal arrived I got a brand new animal for my sanctuary so that takes it up to three now now sanctuary animals are elephants they're giraffes and they are hippos now each animal is two animals so there's two giraffes there's two of the hippos and there's two of the elephants and then once you've got two of them you can actually get babies which is fantastic now to decorate what I need to do is to clear away all of the old designs so what I've done is gone into edit mode it's much faster I'm taking away everything so go 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 and it's all gone and look at that it gradually disappearing now there is some existing decoration there already within the game and I can't remove that one it's kind of shaded out at the moment so everything else that's not shaded that's more prominent is needed to be removed now my old design is basically done there's a few more trees there to go one more down in the bottom corner one in the bottom take the one in the bottom that's it it's gone so just my animal pen so let's save that one come back out and we now have a beautiful board there I've got my giraffe I've got my hippo and I've got my elephant we need to decorate so let's space these out into rough location and then work our way around this now just because I'm placing these down at the moment doesn't mean they're going to stay in that position I will be shifting them around I'm also going to be using some of the decoration that came with these baby animals as well so for each of these animals you get you do get a decoration so let's go and show you now this is my brown hippo that's what I just got and I got two new decoration as well so to get your animal you need to slide out the actual house itself and then it's delivered by crate on some balloons how four balloons can carry that much weight I do not know especially when the hot air balloon to carry me is a lot bigger once that crates landed two decoration go into your storage and they can be accessed via the shop so each one of these beautiful animals gives you two decoration so for each animal that's two decoration there's two adults which is in total four decoration and then there's another two babies so that's a lot of decoration opportunities for redesigning now earlier on when I got those animals I was thinking about okay where should I place them and 
these were the two decoration I got very nice indeed so you can see the rock pond there one purple and three blue very expensive I'd like to buy more but I don't have them I also saw there that I had the bush which was again very nice and I was looking at maybe putting that water over there so I must remember that's where I wanted it to be so I may have to move that elephant house which is what I think I'm going to do Right, well, let's talk more about each of these animals and the houses. Now, you'll see there's the giraffe house there, there's the elephant, and then there's the hippo. This one here is the elephant house, and my elephant is inside that. Down here, this one is the hippo house, and then the other one is the giraffe house. Now, remember, like I said, you're getting two animals, and each animal is slightly different. So they may be dirty, they may be clean, they have their own actions, they have their own function they do within the game, uh, but each one of them needs feeding. And to feed them, you've got to make wheat bales. So make sure you do make those wheat bales on your farm. You make them in the feed mill, by the way. Right, like I said, each one of these gives you a specific decoration. So there's two for each of those. Now, you can place them down there. And I'm going to place all of them within this one area. So they're going to cost you vouchers. They're going to cost you coins. Now, if they're vouchers, they don't really change in price. However, the coins do. So if you are buying one, let's just say 5,000 coins now, when you buy another one, it's going to be more expensive. The next one will be more expensive than that, and so on and so forth. However, the vouchers do not change. They stay the same. Right, now as I slide down, you'll see that some of these decorations are actually highlighted. Some of them are greyed out. Now, the greyed out ones means I don't have that animal yet. So until I get the actual sanctuary animal, I can't claim all of the decoration. Now, I'm in no hurry to get all of the animals. I'd like to have them sooner rather than later, but you need to collect those puzzle pieces. And those puzzle pieces are not that easy to do. Unless, of course, you're kind of like speeding up the boats or you're respinning as an example. So if you're using diamonds within the game, you could probably do it a lot faster. But someone like myself who's just taking my time and then getting them as they come, I'm in no rush to prove that I've got something. Uh, I'm kind of just happy just to take it slow and steady and then get it as and when I can. But decorating, that's what I'm here for. So this is my sanctuary area. Now, as I said earlier, okay, I was going to probably move this water back over here. I like the way it was. I think the rocks go together very, very well. But I want to have the actual hippo bath there as well. So I think if I do it like that, that's going to be much, much nicer. I think the elephant needs to be more over towards the trees where I put my termite mound. And my giraffe needs to be over by the tall trees uh, because then that tall, skinny tree with the trunk there and the actual giraffe feet they're going very very nicely together now some of these decorations I have purchased more of so like those beautiful pink flowers there I've got quite a few of those so I'm probably gonna add all of those out as well but uh, I'm not going to be buying any more. I decided against purchasing any more of the regular sanctuary decoration at this moment in time it would be nice to have but not a necessity at the moment. I'm more interested in creating a design that's colorful uh, and then basically adding in a kind of a playground style feel here. Right, so at the moment I'm just placing down, placing down, placing down, uh, creating a rough template on where things look or could go. Now, when you're decorating, it's not easy. Okay, do like I'm doing though. Just place things down, spread them around. Have a kind of concept in your mind and start working towards that. Uh, I want to make my hippo area more watery. I want to make my actual giraffe area more tree based. Uh, I'm looking to make my trees down in the corner a little bit more tree and colorful. I'm looking to make my elephant area very elephant toy related. So I've added in the elephant slide already. Who doesn't want to see an elephant going up and down that slide? I know I would definitely like to. And hey day, I think the addition of these new pet toys within the game for the play park is a fantastic idea. Somebody in your office must have found that animal play park in your city just like the one that I saw back in 2015 so maybe someone is very pet focused now I've got a lot of decoration here some of it I can use some of it I can't use uh, I probably could if I wanted to buy a lot more but again I'm not really interested now I do have duplicates of this decoration so I'm going to place both of those out there separating them slightly I could put them together but I don't want to do that I want to space things out again a little bit more 
Now, I do wish I had more of the trellis fence. I really dig that one. Okay, I've not been lucky enough to gain more than one piece just yet, but at uh, some stage in the future, I will gain more and more and more. Like I said, there's plenty of time for these decoration pieces. Yeah, they will come when they are ready. If you're seeing people with lots of them at the moment, well, no comment. No comment in right okay we are looking at some of the decoration the trail i'm going to hold off till later i think rocking horse an absolute must i want my giraffe on that one i think i've done most of the decoration i want to add out in relation to the animal toys there's no more there i would like to place some wall pieces out i definitely want some of these colored trees as well the pond I was thinking about, but actually with the existing water that's already there and the one that's at the back, I decided against that one. These autumn trees that were sold to us within the game, perfect. I love these. Heyday winter's just around the corner as well. So please start thinking towards some more wintry style trees as well. In fact, there's a Halloween event coming up in a few months time. I would love to see some Halloween trees. Oh yes. So if your design team has plenty of time, especially now that you guys are back from your holidays, please do think about this as well. But it's okay if you can't get them done straight away. Uh, I know what's coming for the birthday so that is very very nice for me to include in my game later and I think everyone else is going to be very happy about that as well even though I can't tell you what it's going to be but you will love it and I think oh yes absolutely it's gorgeous it's lovely it's wonderful right okay now I want to add some flowers into this as well I like the wheelbarrow not keen on the stone path the walls I want instead uh, I want to add in some of the daffodils I've got one of those that I go over nicely at the back I think give me some color under the tree yep yeah, beautiful put that around the rock that looks good I like that one right we've got the hydrangeas as well i love these hydrangeas i wish i had more i'm going to put some of those down as well because again a little bit of color tweaking adding the color in in different places is very nice indeed now like i said i may not leave there i may just move it around but i think i might actually yeah no i'm definitely i'm going to move them around as well i, I want to make something more colorful down the bottom hand side Ooh. 130 diamonds only 240 yen so heyday i love this offer 60 percent discount so a 60 percent discount on heyday diamonds that's really good and it's so tempting to keep tapping that thing and then saying yes but no resist resist you can resist don't do it you do not want to buy diamonds for your baby farm until it gets to level 100. That is your goal. You can do this. So do not succumb to that wonderful 60% discount. Give me 80% discount. I might think about it. But 60%? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. The wife will kill me if I spend any more money. At least uh, not until it's her birthday. Then I can buy diamonds. That will be okay right so more decoration what else is there i'm going to take the wheelbarrow i think that wheelbarrow will be very nice let's just drag that one out as well now it's a shame i don't have the lily log because i like that one as well but 99 coins should i buy it i've got plenty of money it's not as if it's going to hurt but uh i also don't want to overburden this i i want to keep my central section more open so i'm definitely going to rechange that design Okay, now let's move that over. Under the tree is nice, but I can't see the flowers. The wheel looks good. Mm. Okay, I like the way this is looking to start with. I think, though, I'm going to change it. Yeah, I'm going to change that. I definitely am going to change that. But let's see what else there is. So, at the moment, it's very open. I'm not keen on the fact that uh, my animals could go onto the train track. Now, if I add in some wall pieces here as well, that stop them from going into the river, although I really wish they would, but because it's an island, technically I don't have to do this. But, 
as a backdrop to the tree it does create a very nice impression now I can't place it along the front at the moment because I'm limited on space and I've got a load of trees and bushes in the way but I do want to have some down there in front of the tire so I do know that when my actual elephant goes through that tire he's going to be charging up and down that ramp so I really want him to stop as well do, 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 do. No, shift those trees okay move that tree over slightly hiding the waters kind of okay I got a nice little flower bed there as well around it so if we bring the wall back down into the game now so take a couple along the bottom there okay actually the angle might have been good I should have left that one okay tree goes back yeah, shame I can't put it in but yep leave the tree where it is at the moment that looks good so it's blocking the water it's kind of blocking the actual giraffe tower as well but you can still see the rocking horse which is the key point now I like it, it looks good uh, I'm gonna move the golden tree there the one that's more brown I think if I shift that out the way and then I shift the bone bath as well I can bring walls all the way across there uh, if I then have the bone bath coming up just around the rocks and maybe adjusting the flowers a little bit more as well so thinking 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 okay then maybe later I'll buy some trail paths now there's a lot of small trees I could add those in I've done some with the leafy trees already don't need the toilet even though that would be a good idea uh, anything else anything else picnic table could be nice but I want to buy that one not just yet no that's it okay not really any more decoration that I've got left remaining in there so most of the decoration I need are now out Ooh, summer decoration now the summer decoration is repeated again you've got the picnic mat or the pool with the slide oh, I've got to do it I'm sorry I have to buy that pool with slide I cannot have a play area without a pool uh, I would love to get the picnic mat as well because then my animals can have a picnic and play but the pool slide is a must and that's going to go in the top hand corner so if I place it there's the best no go back 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 that's right right under the tree so a bit of shade there you got the slide as well they can splash down it's close to the water oh yeah six thousand coins gone though not a problem I, I like it and that's a good purchase right now let's adjust this bone area I'm not happy with the bone bath uh, if I tweak the flowers around move the tree move the bone bath I can create something more wonderful okay let's move those flowers now move those down by the tree actually that looks good I like that that looks nice okay try another one there oh yes more colorful that actually I, I like that I like that but if I bring in the golden tree in there as well so if I bring in one of those large trees into that that will create a more colorful design there as well now which should I do let's try the golden first bring that straight down into there do you know what I like that I'm not even going to change it that one looks good straight away it's a very very big contrast on what I've got already let's move those flower beds back down there as well yeah oh I like it bone bath up as well ah, no nope, not blowing up those rocks that yeah oh, that, that's perfect that's perfect that looks really really good now what I can then do is bring the wall straight down the bottom there but not all the way to the end if I actually bring the walls down say three quarters of the way there then stop it just before the rocks then I can use the dirt path piece there are two dirt path pieces one there and then one more that I've got there we go that looks much better it looks more active like the entrance is there and the animals have been playing that looks good I like it I need water though okay I've got five ditches I want to put them over there by my actual hippo bath that tree's in the way I'm gonna to have to move it now I'm not going to chop down the existing trees I want to keep those but this small one here that I've got I can move that over place that down by the side of the water and then bring in more of the trails now by joining trails together you can get some nice angles now I really would like to have it there but I don't have two pieces I've only got the one so what I'm gonna do is actually have it like forking so if I go behind the small tree 
There we go, like that. I can fork that, and it looks good. Then move the big tree or little tree back again to hide the break, and it looks good. So it looks like the water's actually going up behind in two directions. Looks like the water's coming down and around. Much better indeed. I'm really satisfied. I like the way this is looking, but still needs a little bit more. And I like the way that the center's looking now. My hippo is, oh, oh, she loves it. Oh my God, did you see that? That is such a happy expression. My elephant's just been playing on my tire as well. My giraffe is on the elephant slide. Ah, oh, beautiful, you darlings. You love it, don't you? I knew you would enjoy this. Okay, guys, you have to make it. Did you see their facial expressions there? That giraffe was by the slide. The elephant was by the tire. And the hippo is still down there by the bone drop bouncing up and down really really pleased <laughs> perfect but we need one more thing now I want to create the impression that they've been walking around there's a little bit of dirt it's very very sandy and I want to put something into the middle because it still feels very very open this is why I think this dirt trail path piece is ideal now if you just place those down and scatter those around okay they can go in lines they can go diagonal it doesn't really matter but by just placing some of these down uh, not only do you get the experience points as well but it gives you the impression that it's a little bit different and it, it enhances your design a lot more okay well there you go that's basically the design done now I don't need to change it anymore my animals love the play park my play park is now completed and I'm really satisfied I've used a lot of the new decoration I'm hoping to get some more decoration in there soon and we are good to go so one final tweak there with the actual uh, flowers that we've got and we are done and dusted very nice indeed, if I do say so. What do you think, everybody? Do you like it? Did you enjoy that? Uh, would you like to need to change it or maybe tweak it in another way? Uh, maybe you would like to support me by sending me all of your puzzle boats and then I can actually get more puzzle boats and then I can do more of my animals and make my sanctuary even better. But uh, not to be. Right, now as I said earlier, okay, I would like to add you guys as friends within the game. Now, it's a one monthly cycle. If you want to be my friend, you need to add me for my baby farm on this code. So, hashtag 8PLJ0PY82. Now, I've got some friend requests down there from the weekend, uh, because we did a live stream when I removed everybody. If you want to be added back to it, just send me the request. Okay, remember, it's a one month cycle though, and at the end of the month, I remove everybody. But, if you want to be on my friend's bar down there, you want me to help you out, just send me the request. Right, well that's me, Red finished. I'm really, really happy. I hope you like the fact that I actually got myself a new baby animal. The brown hippo is gorgeous. New decoration too. I hope you like my sanctuary play park. I love doing that one. If you want to send me mail in the post, please do so. This is my address in Japan. But most importantly, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and also hit the notification bell. So YouTube now wants you guys to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I actually upload or make videos. But either way, I'm going to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I've got to get back to my town. I will play with my animals as well. But I will see you next time. So take care, have fun, and have a happy heyday now. Goodbye, all.